Hi right, folks, this is part two of the uh, previous video. This is a custom stain job. I'll show you where we're at right now. You can see that all the major sandings done with. Took a lot of work actually to get this finish off. Even though it was over 10 years old, it uh, was quite durable. So right now we're in the detail thing again. Detail work of the hand scraper. Uh, let's see if I can get a close up here. Light may not do enough justice here, but the reason for scraping all around the perimeter of the area is that if you zoom in here, the small sander that goes around the perimeter, the eight inch, uh, or excuse me, seven inch edger, leaves swirl marks that you won't see on a natural finish. But if you don't remove those swirl marks by hand scraping all the way around, there's going to be that uh-oh phase once the stain's on, and once that's on, it's too late. You're going to have to hand scrape everything out. I did a little test in the corner here, just to see what it looks like. It's close to the uh, final color. It's a Jacobian stain by Dur Duracell. It's a Minwax company. So yeah, all the way around, once that gets all hand scraped, I already started uh, at the doorway here, so this whole area is done now. Then give it a light hand sanding all the way around, and then we go with this machine. Uh, floor scrubber, floor maintainer, but it's uh, really cool. It's got a dust containment system. It goes into this vacuum here. You know, the hose gets attached to this right here. And there's a skirt on it. So, no more dust storms. Everything goes right in the vacuum. What a big difference. I mean, it is 2013. I guess anyone in the trade should get with the program, throw away the dust bags, keep the environment clean, and keep the customer happy. All right, we'll be back after it's stained. Bye for now.